Presidential elections are often one-sided affairs dominated by a frontrunner who wins a solid majority on election day. But of course, there have been exceptions, contests that keep everyone in suspense right to the very end. This is the photo finish that symbolizes close elections in America. The year was 1948, when incumbent President Harry Truman stunned the nation by defeating the overwhelming favorite Republican challenger Thomas Dewey. Crisscrossing the nation by train, Truman set out on an aggressive re-election campaign that produced the most famous battle cry. All right, I'm doing it. Give him hell, Harry blasted what he called the Republican Do-Nothing Congress. Give the Republicans complete control of this government, you might just as well turn it over to the special interests, and we'll start on a boom and bust cycle and try to go through just what we did in the 20s. Truman put up a tough fight. But he was a clear underdog, and as the campaign drew to a close, almost no one thought that he could win. In fact, by the end of that October, Truman appeared to be so far behind, pollsters had stopped taking polls. But on election night, a major turning point, Truman had pulled off a truly unexpected victory and happily held aloft the Chicago Tribune's famously wrong headline. History was made, and for the first time, it played out on television. As Governor Thomas E. Dewey today conceded the presidential election to President Truman under a New York dateline. In the end, Truman beat Dewey by more than two million votes, a four and a half percent margin, not the closest of elections as it turned out, but certainly one of the biggest upsets in the history of American politics. For more on the election of 1948, including full speeches and parts of NBC's broadcast from election night, Browse through the playlist to the left. Also be sure to check back soon for another political turning point, the election of 1960. I'm Tom Brokaw.